We've all boiled water in the kettle more than once. It's easier, it saves time, it saves energy, and it saves water. Boiling water kills off harmful bacteria and makes water safe to drink. Reboiling water is surely safe then. But have you ever wondered what happens to water chemistry when you reboil water again? Is it still safe to drink? If you have perfectly pure, distilled and deionized water, nothing will happen if you reboil it. However, ordinary water contains dissolved gases and minerals. The chemistry of the water changes when you boil it because this drives off the volatile compounds and dissolved gases, which is often desirable. However, if you boil the water too long or reboil it, you risk concentrating certain undesirable chemicals that may be in your water. Examples of chemicals that become more concentrated include nitrates, arsenic, and fluoride. There is a concern that reboiled water may lead a person to develop cancer. This concern is not unfounded. While the boiled water is fine, increasing the concentration of toxic substances may put you at risk for certain illnesses, including cancer. For example, excessive intake of nitrates has been linked to certain types of cancer. Arsenic exposure may produce symptoms of arsenic toxicity, plus it has been associated with some forms of cancer. Even healthy minerals may become concentrated to dangerous levels. For example, excessive intake of calcium salt, commonly found in drinking water and mineral water, can lead to kidney stones, hardening of the arteries, arthritis, and gallstones. So what can we conclude? Boiling water kills bacteria and any other harmful contaminants and makes it safer to drink. And yes, while potentially harmful toxins such as fluoride might remain, the concentrations are practically negligible, leaving you without the worry of adverse effects on your body. Generally, boiling water, allowing it to cool and then reboiling it does not present much of a health risk. For example, if you keep water in a tea kettle, boil it, and add water when the level gets low, you aren't likely to endanger your health. It's best if you don't let water boil down, which concentrates minerals and contaminants and if you reboil water, it's better to do it once or twice, rather than make it your standard practice. Pregnant women and persons at risk for certain illnesses may wish to avoid reboiling water rather than risk concentrating hazardous chemicals in the water. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on how to clean and descale a kettle with baking soda or lemon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.